Bonnie and I went to the UK and visited the Cotswold area, which is shown on this map. And you can see that it's kind of in the middle of the country. This is the car that we had, or one like it. I found this on the internet. Um, Cotswold is known for raising sheep. It was the wool producing area. And it's now very famous for all of the walks that you can do. Very picturesque. This is a picture I found on the internet. And it shows what people do there. I'm going to spare you and not tell you everything about what we did. Pictures will speak for themselves. This is where we stayed at the Hilton. It was uh, uh, built in 1992, but they've done some interesting things. Um, this is a conservatory where you can sit and have a drink or whatever you'd like. Very uh, lovely. I took this picture of the hallway just to give you a sense as to how narrow it was. Uh, it was very uh, hard to have two people pass. This is a picture from our room, the putting green, and here's a uh, interesting picture. This uh, guy had a golf cart that followed him around. Here he's pushing it. And this is uh, the 19th hole where they're coming in. And another view from a different room that we had. We ended up with two different rooms. And there's going to be a series of pictures here. Very, very pretty. And the leaves were just turning, as you can see. It was uh, a lovely time of the year to be there. The second room that we had had a very nice balcony on it and uh, the weather was such that we could sit out in the uh, early evening and enjoy the sunset and so forth here you can see the sun is just going down creating light over the little ridges and things they do such a beautiful job with uh, uh, trimming hedges and things these gumdrop trees are interesting we're in Tewkesbury here and this is uh, the river Severn and um, uh, very picturesque. We had we arrived uh, on the Wednesday and had dinner there. Picture of one of the houses. It's interesting how everything sags there. Um, now we're in a, a little town called Stanton, and we went for a walk there on the Cotswold Way and uh, found it to be a little muddier than we had expected. So we didn't go for that long a walk, but uh, we were actually going down a bridle path. This is a thatched roof with a fox on top, kind of interesting. And this is where we entered the, uh, the bridle way, if you will, where we did the walking. And uh, right next to that was uh, some gentleman doing something to sheep, not sure what, shearing or what. Another uh, thatched roof. This one had uh, ducks on top. A uh, lovely old church. And of course, all the churches in England have the cemetery right around it. Here, Bonnie's going over one of the stiles, which is on the walks that you have. And here I am in one of the uh, walkways. It's interesting how they um, have a an area that goes, f you know, really through everything. Here's Bonnie on the same walkway looking the other direction. And you can basically have public right of way everywhere so that you can have the opportunity of uh, walking across someone's land. We took a picture of this church so that you could see the gargoyles on the sides there. Um, now we're in another little town. Uh, we had uh, a lovely lunch there. This is a very common scene where you have uh, people on horseback and all over the place. Uh, this wouldn't be right if we didn't have pictures of the UK telephone booths. Lovely street, very picturesque. This was very common throughout our visit there. We thought this home was... Uh, particularly interesting, very large for a UK home. Um, the We couldn't quite figure out what the the tops of these roofs were, whether they were chimneys or what. Here um, is a uh, 
it's in a pub and they had an elevated area where you could see be seated and so forth this is an interesting thing they were selling cow hides and things just a picture of the um, uh, of the back of a place that we ate um, again number of homes that we thought were interesting to look at we did a lot of walking and it's every place you go and look there's something new and different I thought this was interesting they had to cut away the ivy so that you could see out the windows and get in the door again you know everywhere flowers uh, constantly uh, jumping out at you and um, this uh, is um, an interesting little place and we just happened to walk down a path and there it was um, very famous place in uh, in the UK um, and we spent a, a fair amount of time here we um, had the opportunity of uh, of visiting many 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 little villages and uh, so and seeing all kinds of uh, interesting little things this is Burton on the water by the way and uh, again an ivy bush and all in bloom everything is bloom all the time Burton on the water is a big place for people to stop because it's a very well known and renowned very picturesque um, just thought uh, this was a lovely picture another lovely picture uh, we had dinner at the hotel one night and uh, uh, this is what Bonnie had for dessert and uh, we both gained copious amounts of weight can't help but do that um, this was delicious to say the least and um, so we we ate well. Uh, we tried to get in here and couldn't quite get in. So we didn't uh, get to spend any time in the prison. It's an interesting art, this making of walls. It's a dry stone wall construction. So, and they have classes on it so that you can find out how to make walls like this. Thought it was kind of interesting how low the doorway was in this little town. And I'm making fun here that I bumped my head trying to go in. But uh, people were shorter in those days. So um, everything was a blaze of glory. The leaves were just turning and uh, it was just, just really quite lovely. This little village had a number of interesting little uh, things about it. And uh, so we, we, we spent uh, a little time here. Uh, we thought particularly some of the places that we saw were you know really quite uh, quite interesting every village has a church at least one and uh, so we thought we'd take a picture of that here's the green grocer and their stuff is sitting outside <laughs> you pick it up and then go in and pay um, just more of the uh, uh, scenery in the houses and so forth sheep everywhere um, Again, what holds them in is that uh, dry stone wall construction. And this is a close-up of uh, some of that, just uh, around someone's home. Um, again, more sheep. And uh, the landscape is just absolutely breathtaking. Here you'll see the sheep got a little bit close to the fence. When Bonnie went to take this picture, they all started to head off the other way. <laughs> I think they were a little concerned. That's a pheasant. And we saw several pheasants, and uh, it was pheasant hunting season. This is one of the slate roofs, and you can see it's actually made of slate. And um, uh, apparently it works. And now we're in a little town called Bibbury, or you might say Bibbury. And um, this is one of the uh, very famous um, shots. A lot of tourists come here for this particularly lovely little row if you will and um, so the uh, um, again you just uh, can't get enough of the scenery most homes have names when we lived in the UK our home had a name as well as a number and usually the postman had uh, a 
sense as to where something was more by the name than by the house number and street number. So, and again, it was because these were very small areas. This was a home under construction. Interesting, they used uh, cinder block and then they put the exterior on that. Again, um, a home with a name. And uh, I thought this was uh, kind of an interesting little place that some someday we might come and stay. Um, again, we're still in, in uh, Bibbury, and uh, uh, this is a trout farm, and just lovely scenery. We had uh, we had tea here. One of the missions on this day was to make sure we took time to have a proper uh, tea with um, uh, clotted cream and jam and all of that sort of thing. It was uh, uh, really quite uh, uh, quite scrumptious. You'll see a picture of the inside of where we were in just a second. Anyway, the um, here are some of the trout that uh, were on sale. I was going to tell you that I caught them, but I know you wouldn't believe it. So we thought uh, Oe and Hank would like to have ridden in this little uh, ride, and one of our friends would like to have ridden in this little ride. There was a wedding going on, and uh, so this lady was out front waiting for the bride and groom, and um, uh, with champagne in hand. And here's the lovely couple having a smooch before they uh, go in and have uh, uh, the grand affair. Um, here we're looking at the uh, that row of houses again that's so famous. And this is my attempt at taking a selfie. And it didn't turn out that well. So we had someone uh, who, a passerby, take a picture of Bonnie and I as we were sitting. Uh, with the that row in the background. Here's where we had tea. Very lovely place. It's kind of interesting because it filled up uh, to the brim by the time we were finished. And um, uh, very quaint. We sat by the fire. This picture just shows you how absolutely neat that they keep the greenery and hedgerows. The rugby team, the U.S. rugby team, was staying at the hotel while we were there. And these guys were enormous. Now we're in uh, Stratford-upon-Avon. This is uh, where Shakespeare was born. They just happened to have a street fair going on at that time. And uh, it was, um, uh, you know, interesting in and of itself. But, you know, fortunately, it was not uh, blocking any views of Shakespeare's home or anything like that. But they had all sorts of things. Again, we thought uh, Hank and Owie would uh, enjoy um, affair like this. They basically blocked off a uh, number of streets to, to do this. Here you can see there a lot of uh, a attribution for Shakespeare. This is Shakespeare's home. And um, I've got a couple of different shots of this. It um, uh, We've been through it before and you have to duck to get in the doorways because everything is very, very uh, small. We thought this was rather interesting. We were waiting to get picked up by the hotel bus. Now we're in uh, uh, at the Birmingham airport. Uh, we stayed there the last night just before leaving. And uh, again, not a bad experience. We uh, lovely setting and everything else. This was our balcony. We thought that was kind of uh, kind of an interesting thing. And finally, Bonnie took this picture just as we were flying over.